Just to say a few more things about post lumbar puncture headache. Post lumbar puncture headache will start in most people within one or two days of lumbar puncture and certainly no more than four days after lumbar puncture. And in the majority of people it's, it resolves itself within about 10 to 14 days. Most people will experience a postural headache within 20 to 30 seconds of standing and it's usually relieved within about 20 to 30 seconds of lying flat although it can take several minutes for, in some people for that change in pain to occur. It can be any location within the head and even spinal or interscapular pain can occur with it. The pain can be described as a throb or dull ache and often there's ringing in the ears, nausea and double vision if the pressure is low. Um, women are more susceptible to lumbar puncture headache than men and younger people are more susceptible than older people to it. Prevention is very important and needle selection really is the key. The traditional lumbar puncture needle is this one here, which is a bevel tip needle with a sharp um, point that actually cuts its way through and leaves a, a, a hole in the, in the uh, dura to allow CSF to leak out. The recommended needle now is the atraumatic needle. Now this needle actually spreads the fibres and has a very, very small aperture at the end, just before the end of the needle, to allow CSF to flow through. Um, clinical studies will show that the risk of post-lumbar puncture headache with the cutting needle, the traditional needle, is of the order of 50%, whereas with the recommended needle, which is a 22-gauge Whitaker-type um, atraumatic needle, the risk is about 10%, and we've shown that in our own local practice. If someone does get a post lumbar puncture headache, about 40% of people will have maybe up to seven days of quite disabling headache, so it's very important that your needle selection is correct. Um, the atraumatic needles are now standard stock in our own hospital. Treatment of post lumbar puncture headache includes um, rest, painkillers, and drinking fluid, although the evidence that these actually work is limited, but if someone's still got disabling headache after seven days, an epidural blood patch procedure should be considered and should be performed by an experienced operator. Um, either one of the neurologists or certainly anaesthetists are also very much qualified in doing that procedure.